Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buzz and Suzz. And so, first time on our channel, we have William here. William. Cheers, guys. Thank you. William brought this beer from Jay Wakefield. This is Han Shop First. This is a 15%, yes, 15% ABV uh, beer with 40 IBUs. Uh, this one's with uh, cacao nibs, vanilla, vanilla beans, smoked ghost peppers, and aged in bourbon barrels. So thank you for bringing this one. Awesome. My pleasure. Um, I think this is the second Jay Wakefield beer we've reviewed on our channel. So love the last one. Bout it, bout it. And can't wait to get into this. <laughs> All right. Let's do All it. Right. This pours a nice black. It's just color. dark. Tan heads. This is just a, a little bit of carbonation, yeah. though. All right, let's get the aroma. Hmm. I get a big chocolate and cacao. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get chocolate first. I get a burn. <laughs> I'm gonna, I guess is yes. that the pepper like burning my I nose? Smell <laughs> some yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely getting some, some of that that nice earthy fruity pepper. Mm. It's that ha habanero, well, ghost pepper, but that's yeah. just a variety of I habanero. Just, so. I, I feel even down, down into my lungs. That's a nice mm. pepper burn there. I don't get much bourbon, though, do you? I don't get a lot I, well, of character, but it's you know, hard to get past I mean, the Yeah, other exactly. Stuff. Typically, you're used to a, a, a bourbon burn, and it's kind of like a pepper burn yeah. instead. But uh, it smells wonderful. Very yeah, It robust. does, doesn't it? Cheers. 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 Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. everyone. Mm. Ooh. It's got a little sweetness and then burn to me. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. Ooh, and then the burn lingers. Oh, yeah. But it's not overwhelming. Yep. It's not like the Mango Magnifico was <laughs> the, the first sip. I mean, that was just super good. Second, burn. yeah, even more. I get this kind of like almost cereal, um, I get kind of like chocolate and cereal breadiness to it. Yeah, breadiness. I would agree with that. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't come off as like, but then, so our palates are probably a little <laughs> wrecked. So it doesn't come off as super chocolatey or cacao on the flavor like it did of the aroma. Mm -hmm. I'm getting more what I would describe as like cereal breadiness, mm -hmm. but I don't know how much mm -hmm. of that is just from what we've been I, drinking I think, tonight. I think our palates have been thoroughly destroyed <laughs> at this point. Uh, and therefore the, 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 go, the ghost pepper is really all that's coming through with specificity. Yes. Uh, but I, I, I definitely am getting some uh, some graininess, some richness. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I would call it chocolate. Uh, <clears throat> no, I, I'm, assured, I'm assured it's there. Yeah. It's just uh, you guys. I mean, it needs to be released in order, correct? So you'll yeah. you'll see what we yeah. drank right before <laughs> this, which is probably why we're not getting this big, rich, yeah. you know, chocolate. I, I feel like if I could reset, I would say that this was incredibly thick, incredibly <laughs> sweet, incredibly chocolatey, yeah. and fudgy. It's just in comparison uh, to what we've been enjoying. And actually, I'm this, getting more of that. This is restrained. It's balanced. Yeah. I, I really, really yeah, like this beer. Really I, th good. I think that the flavors are all bright and prominent, uh, but nothing is overwhelming. I agree. Yeah, I would um, agree with that. And, and, and your, your comment about the pepper is the only specific flavor. That is what's kind of standing out. But yes. Um, so there's nothing negative. There's nothing like off bitterness or anything. It's just it's a really well put together beer that uh, I think what we're perce perceiving as this kind of cereal or brightness is really the chocolate, the cacao, all coming together very nice. The vanilla, uh, little bourbon character, which is partly the the, the bourbon's probably partly hidden by the burn from the pepper. Um, but this is really nice. Another great one from Jay Wakefield as far as yeah, I'm it's really concerned. good. Yeah, I mean for a lot of adjuncts in it, it's it, I think the pepper stands out, but it's not overwhelming. And I mean I'm sensitive to pepper. Yeah, you I'm Pepper, spicy stuff yeah. but usually that's the dominant flavor and to, to me this is well blended yeah. uh, I wish I had a little more of the sweetness I mean it is a little sweet which I assume <laughs> is from the vanilla and the bourbon barrel but I like it a little more I sweet bet if you that. had this first tonight you would perceive this as like really sweet yeah I've been saying like if this were any sweeter I don't think I would enjoy it because I, I'm very sensitive to bitter and there's no like roasty bitterness to me so I no, there's not I think that is just be what we've had tonight and everything. I bet this, if you, again, you put this at the first of the night, After it's KBBS, going to, yeah. it's hard to say it's sweet, right? <laughs> yeah, it'd be like... Uh, it, and I, I gotta say, I am getting more and more vanilla uh, from the aroma in particular as it opens up. Yeah, yeah, I am too. After I get acclimated to the pepper and, you know, get used to that, it, yeah. uh, the vanilla yeah. kind of stands out. Yeah, I'm getting vanilla, Marshmallow, mm. pepper, and a, a little bit of bourbon character—almost, uh, almost just like a sweet caramel apple thing going on. Mm. 
I like it. That's really um, good. I enjoy this. Uh, four or five for me. I really like mm. this. That's the number that came to my mind when I yeah. first sipped it. Yep, yeah. four or five. Four or five, four or five plus. Yeah, it's That's right like in there. Good, yeah. just Jay above four or five. Um, yeah. Excellent beer. First one we had was a Huna Day. We, we always joke about this, but like the last Huna Stout, or at least though, or the, excuse me, the last Jay Wakefield Stout, no, you know, no line when everything else was tapped out, was still our one of our top two or three beers of the whole yeah, festival. Yeah, no one wanted that one. And no one wanted it, man. We were like, holy stuff. crap. So anyway, if you guys get your hands on some Jay Wakefield, this is a treat. Yeah, really Thank good. you, William, for bringing this. Yeah, this is wonderful. Really good. Thanks, my buddy Scott, for giving me this bottle. Oh, so. Scott Olson. <laughs> Scott Olson. Scott, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We know Scott. So uh, um, as always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.